welcome to Draw to Tuesday. Today I don't actually have a drawing tip for you, but I do want to show you a little peek into the process of making an illustration. Because making an illustration is kind of different from drawing. You know, you need a little bit of planning and you need to uh, make a lot of decisions along the way for storytelling, composition, all that. And this week I submitted an illustration to They Draw and Travel. They have these really great play along themes and uh, they pick a theme. This time it is My Happy Place and anyone can submit, so can you. You have still time. The theme is uh, still up this week, so you can still submit. I did an illustration and I recorded the whole process. It is speeded up. So mind you, uh, this has taken me about 15 hours altogether. Not, not in one sitting, just in a few sittings. But um, that's something to keep in mind. When you do an illustration, it's quite different than doing a normal drawing in your sketchbook. Usually when I do a sketchbook drawing, I can do it in five minutes or in 15 or in an hour, but not really much longer for one drawing. And for an illustration, I could put hours and hours and hours in it. It just is a really different process. So I thought it might be interesting to share it. So the theme for the play along is my happy place. And I was thinking, well, I have a lot of happy places, but since it's they draw and travel, um, I was thinking, oh, I'd love to travel to Thailand again. I've been there many times. It's my favorite place for vacation and I kind of miss it. So if I can't travel there now, I can at least travel from my couch, sitting with my iPad on my lap and um, tell a little story and capture the vibe, basically. That was my goal for this illustration. I started by listing why I chose Thailand and what is so great about it. The vibe, sounds, the smells, the things that I see, what is it that makes this such a fantastic place to go. So I listed that and then I also chose a color palette that seemed to make sense for me for Thailand. But then actually later on in the process, those colors turned out to be way too hard. So I did use this color palette, but created a little bit more grayed out, faded versions of them. Also, I did some quick drawings of some ideas for icons that could be part of the illustration. And next, I created a few thumbnails to think about how this illustration should look in terms of composition. So just trying things out without too much of expectations or anything, but with the goal to find something that feels right. And then the third one, uh, you see that I put an arrow there that feels like the right thing to me. And of course, it doesn't have to be one-on-one -on -one because I will leave things out and I will change things up. But this is basically the storytelling element in it too. Like on the left, there's a cityscape and then it sort of fades into this wonderful rainforest, beach kind of vacation place. And that's the thumbnail that I will take to the next stage. Making a list first, drawing icons, and then also doing the thumbnails. Those things are really basics for planning out your illustration. And this process in just these simple steps, I am actually following advice of Nate and Sally, who are the founders and owners of theydrawandcook.com and theydrawandtravel.com. It's really amazing how much inspiration you can pull from that site and you can join their challenges. Okay, so one of the things when illustrating is that you have a format that you need to put your illustration in. And this oblong format is typical for they draw, although they will be changing that. But for now, I am using the oblong format and I am pulling in the thumbnail that I made earlier for reference. And with that, I am starting to draw the basics, like the background. 
and just some fun icons. I love that sun, even though I'm not really sure if I will keep it, but for now it makes me happy. So I'll just leave it there up in the air and also the airplane. In the beginning, I thought it was fun because it was part of the traveling, but it didn't fit in later on. So I am drawing my city scape there on the left, overlapping lines, which I kind of like. So I will leave that. And now I am shamelessly tracing over a drawing that I pulled from the internet. This is from Santi Sales. And I pulled it from the internet because of how he captured trees, but especially the people. It seems so simple and so dynamic at the same time. So I'm just tracing it to understand what it is that makes it so dynamic. But then I will try my own versions of it as well. Also, I found some inspiration online in photos, looking for street vendors with their fruit and stuff like that. And again, I am tracing this photo just to get the hang of it. I'm not going to actually use that traced illustration, but I will use that as a reference to make my own version. And then it becomes mine. You might call it cheating. I just find it, you know, a creative way to make your way into a drawing that makes sense to you. So here again with the motorcycle, I do the same. And then I have this tuk-tuk, but because it is in the foreground so much, I really do not like the traced version. So I'm using the photo as a reference to make my own version. And that looks a little bit looser and, and better to me. I am picking my colors from that palette that I chose before. And I also feel like I need to fill in the background now. So I'm doing that. When drawing digitally, you can use many layers. So I take away the layer with everything in the foreground so I can work a bit better and focused on that background. So it doesn't feel like I'm just filling in the white spaces, but I'm actually really giving it, well, that background layer. Those electrical wires in Thailand are always very intriguing to me because sometimes they are just big knots of black wire and still everything works. It's amazing. So I feel like I really need to include that because it's always something that I want to draw when I am there. Now I'm choosing color for the background using that initial color palette. And it's really about deciding the color that doesn't draw too much attention because it's the background. So I choose a muted orange and I'm working on the foreground a little bit, trying some stuff out and I'm really all over the place. So I go from the foreground to the background to the middle and now I feel like I need more color to get a sense of the color palette and if it works. At this point, I realized that I have put so much detail on the left side, it's almost a done illustration. And I panic a little bit because there is so much to fill on the right side. So then suddenly I start doing the title, which doesn't make sense at this moment at all. Because the title, I always do it at the end. I do keep it in mind and leave space for it. But in this stage, it really isn't of any importance. And at this point, I realize that. So I go back to coloring, choosing a blue color instead of that way too bright pink for that tuk-tuk. That works so much better and it balances out with the water. I kind of like it. Then I'm stealing that technique of drawing trees that you saw in that stolen drawing earlier. Adding someone on a beach towel, trying out different ways they can sit. And I want that person on the beach having a massage because that is one of the wonderful things that you can get in Thailand everywhere, apart from great food. Speaking of food, suddenly it just occurred to me there needs to be something in the foreground there. And one of the most important things of my story is that in Thailand, the food is so fantastic. And I couldn't figure out how to draw the spoon, so I just found a photo and again, I traced it. And then one of the things on my list was the fruit, the fresh tropical sweetness of fruit in Thailand. And I'm drawing it and I'm just not sure about it. So I leave it and I'll just have some fun drawing something in the background, the hammock and me in it actually changing up the palms, trying to find a certain style for this 
illustration now and it seems like in this stage I am finding it except for the fruit and the food it just doesn't make sense yet but I do like especially the peppers and the limes so I'll keep it in for now but I'm not sure what I'll do with it it's another street vendor just a quick sketch of it just an idea to linger over a little bit and I think I stepped away from it for a while and then I came back knowing what to do with that right hand side of the illustration and that was adding a cabin. So I found another photo and I'm just tracing it and on that photo you can see a lot of green like jungle vibe you know the jungle behind the beach. I love that and that is really giving me the idea of having a lot of green on that right hand side which would really contrast well with the orange and busyness of the left side of the illustration. And then what to do with the middle part. Food is really important in Thailand. For me it's a big part of the experience when I go there. So I am adding more food food vendors using photos for reference and having a really fun time doing this. I'm really setting a scene here and making up a whole story by drawing all kinds of fun elements. Now I feel like I'm getting somewhere and that is really great because I felt like I was stuck a few times in this process and as I said I did this in a few sittings um, and you really need to step away from your illustration regularly because you just need fresh eyes every now and then. And with those fresh eyes, I saw that the tuk-tuk, I really did not like how fat and cartoony it was. So I changed it just a little bit. Now it fits better into the other elements. It would have been fine, but now it's better. I feel like there should be a lot to see. That's what I'm doing, adding a lot of things, adding fish. I don't really like the fish. I take them out again. I take them back again, making the water a little bit transparent so the fish aren't that in focus. Then I add the chickens, which I think is a really great element. And then I think maybe monkeys would be a good element, but I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. I feel like it should have more of a vacation vibe. So those chairs make total sense. Some cool drinks, making decisions again, adding accessories and then taking them away again. There in the background, there's a little bit of white space that needs to be filled, but then I fill it too much. So I take away again. And now I feel like I can add that title. And then I step away from it, I come back and I see that on the left something is missing, on the left in the front. So I am adding a little bit of a palm tree. It balances out the green on the right and it sort of creates a frame in which the whole illustration sits. And then there's a little bit of white space between the bowl and the tuk-tuk. And I fill that with a chair, very inviting for someone else to sit there. And that makes me quite happy with what I did because this is the vibe that I wanted to illustrate and I succeeded. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this process video and maybe you actually picked something up from it and learned something for your own drawing practice. And um, I promise next week we will draw again and I'll have a drawing tip for you. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here so you don't miss out when I upload a new video and you can be the first to watch it. I'll see you next week. Bye.